Welcome to the Pleasant Green Missionary Baptist Church Sunday School Lesson for Sunday, March 18th. We are still in Unit 1 for the spring quarter, which is entitled, Follow in My Ways. Follow in My Ways, and of course those ways are the ways of God. Uh, We've got a great lesson today. Uh, It's a follow on to the lesson we had last week lesson number two this is lesson three from our adult quarterly the lesson title is finding inspiration finding inspiration and our lesson text is taken from second chronicles chapter seven verses one to nine second chronicles chapter seven verses one to nine our devotional reading is psalm 138 and our background scripture, Second Chronicles 7, chapter 1 to 11. From the Adult Quarterly, the lesson aims or identify ways the passage shows the people's thankful worship of God. Number two, aspire to worship God in simple and grand ways. Then number three, plan a worship service to celebrate God's promises. Celebrate God's promises. The lesson has three major divisions. This is the adult quarterly again. The first division is uh, titled A Divine Testimony to Prayer. A Divine Testimony to Prayer. And that's covered between uh, Second Chronicles chapter 7 verses 1 to 3. The second division is Generosity for God's Blessing. That's covered between verses 4 and 7. And the third is an extended worship experience. And that's covered between verses 7 and 8. From the standard commentary, the lesson title is, The People Gave Thanks to God. The People Gave Thanks to God. And additional aims, lesson aims are, number one, Describe God's response to Solomon's prayer of dedication at the temple and how Solomon and the people gave thanks to God. Number two, explain why giving thanks to God receives the emphasis it does does in today's passage. And then number three, suggest one specific way to make giving thanks a consistent part of his or her daily lives, to make it a consistent part of our lives. And I certainly hope that uh, uh, that thanksgiving is a part of every prayer, our daily prayers to God. Uh, The standard commentary also has three major divisions. The first is entitled Fire from God. It's covered between chapter 7, verses 1 to 3. The second is Worship by People. Cover, cover between verses 4 and 6. And the third, further actions, that's covered between verses 7 and 9. And what I'd like to do uh, before, well, actually, let me give a little background, and then we'll, uh, we'll read the lesson text, and then we'll just jump in and uh, have some verse-by-verse discussion. Um, the, the background of Chronicles, in particular Second Chronicles, is the same as it was last week. Um, we know it was it's believed to have been written by uh, Ezra, and this is after the Babylonian captivity, and it records uh, principally the uh, uh, the the kings uh, that were descendants of David and the activities, of course, uh, during uh, the reigns of those kings uh, that were part of the southern kingdom or Judah. Um, The last week we read uh, how Solomon had just completed the construction of the temple. Uh, It was basically uh, an upscale uh, 
version of the tabernacle that had been in the wilderness and that uh, really uh, had been the, the meeting place uh, for uh, God and the congregation of Israel through David's reign. David, as we recall, wanted to build the temple, and he really wanted it to be something magnificent that would glorify God and be a wonder of the world. Uh, but God forbade him uh, from doing that, and we can read about that in Second Samuel chapter uh, 7, uh, and uh, I think beginning at verse 12 and beyond. Uh, the so, but but David did lay up materials uh, for the construction of the temple and did a great job in preparing uh, for what his son Solomon would do. And God said that his son, the one that would come out of his own loins, would actually uh, construct the temple. So Solomon did construct the temple, and it was magnificent. And we our lesson last week uh, basically focused on Solomon's. Uh, dedicatory prayer after the Ark of the Covenant was brought into the Holy of Holies. And uh, this lesson, the lesson today, follows immediately uh, after that dedicatory prayer that was offered in chapter 6. And during that prayer, uh, it was an intercessory prayer primarily. It was a prayer of thanksgiving for God's faithfulness to his promise to David and to Israel. But it was also uh, an intercessory prayer for the nation of Israel. And in that prayer, uh, Solomon made 13 specific requests for God to hear and for God to respond and for God to forgive. Uh, so we're going to read now uh, the response to the dedication, uh, or at least the dedicatory prayer. There's more to follow uh, the dedic uh, that prayer, the sacrifice, uh, the tremendous sacrifices that were made, and then the uh, the feasts that were uh, held, uh, both to dedicate uh, the temple, as well as the customary feast of tabernacle or booths or in gathering, which followed immediately uh, this week of celebrating uh, the dedication of the temple. So we're going to read uh, Second Chronicles, verses 1 to 9, and hopefully you read the, the whole chapter. I like to put uh, the lesson text in context, and so I typically will read the whole chapter, at least. So it begins, Now, when Solomon had made an end of praying, the fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifices, and the glory of the Lord filled the house. And the priest could not enter into the house of the Lord, because the glory of the Lord had filled the Lord's house. And when all the children of Israel saw how the fire came down, and the glory of the Lord upon the house, they bowed themselves with their faces to the ground upon the pavement, and worshipped and praised the Lord, saying, For he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Then the king and all the people offered sacrifice before the Lord. And King Solomon offered a sacrifice of twenty and two thousand oxen and a hundred and twenty thousand sheep. So the king and all the people dedicated the house of God, and the priests waited on their offices, the Levites also with instruments of music of the Lord, which David the king had made to praise the Lord, because his mercy endureth forever. When David praised by their ministry, and the priests sounded trumpets before them, and all Israel stood. Moreover, Solomon hollowed the middle of the court that was before the house of the Lord, for there he had offered burnt offerings and the fat of the peace offerings, because the brazen altar which Solomon had made was not able to receive the burnt offerings and the meat offerings and the fat. Also, at the same time, Solomon kept the feast seven days, and all Israel with him, a very great congregation, from the entering in of Hamath unto the river of Egypt. And in the eighth day they made a solemn assembly, for they kept the dedication of the altar seven days, 
and the feast seven days. Seven days they dedicated the temple, and seven days they kept the feast of booths or feast of tabernacles. And our key verse is verse 3, which is when all the children of Israel saw how the fire came down and the glory of the Lord upon the house, they bowed themselves with their faces to the ground upon the pavement and worshiped and praised the Lord, saying, For he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Let's just have a quick word of prayer. And Father, we do thank you for your mercy. We thank you that your mercy does endure forever, Lord. We thank you always for your loving kindness and your tender mercies, the new mercies that we receive day by day. We ask for your understanding of this lesson, Lord. We ask that as we understand this lesson that our faith be increased. And as our faith is increased, Lord, we pray that our obedience to your word might be increased and that we would do all things to your praise and glory, Lord, as we understand your desires from your word, Lord.